Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making a delicious breakfast in bed. For our first recipe, we're going to make savory potato bowls. You will need two roasted potatoes, four eggs, butter, chopped green onions, one garlic clove, four bacon strips, salt and pepper, cheddar cheese, and whipped cream. They're so delicious, comforting, and easy to make. So you want to preheat your oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to wash and pat dry our potatoes. You want to go ahead and with a fork, poke the potatoes that way it will cook faster. Now let's place the potatoes directly on the oven rack in the center of the oven and bake for about 30 to 40 minutes. This is all the ingredients that we are going to use for those perfect pancakes. I will have the exact measurements and ingredients to all the recipes down below. For this, you are going to need two eggs and we are going to separate the yolk from the egg white and set it aside for later. So offshore they fall and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl we are adding sugar to our egg yolks and go ahead and give it a nice whisk before adding the milk. Take me back, all the way back to the day. I'm using half and half, but you can also use buttermilk or milk of choice. Now let's add our whole milk ricotta cheese to the mixture and one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Now we're adding a cup of old peppers flour and give it a nice whisk. We spent summers catching fireflies and winters on our skates. And add half teaspoon of salt and one and a half teaspoon of baking powder. And to give it that tangy flavor, we're gonna use the zest of a lemon. Now it's time to remove the potatoes out of the oven and let it cool for about 15 minutes. And now if you want to achieve that light and fluffy ricotta pancakes, this is the last ingredient that we're going to add to our pancake batter. So grab your electric beater, if you have a hand beater it's even better, and beat your eggs until white and stiff. Now grab your egg whites and gently fold into the pancake mixture. I can smell the lemon and the vanilla extract. This is so delicious you guys and this last step will take your pancakes to another level. And now we are going to let it sit for about 5 minutes to allow the gluten of the flour to relax which makes tender pancakes and that's what we are looking for. In the meantime, let's slice the potatoes in half and we're going to scoop the potato flesh and add it into a mixing bowl. So I'm going to add salt, pepper, and one garlic clove. And I'm mashing in a little bit just to release all that flavor. I'm adding butter and last but not least, heavy cream. We're going to take this to the microwave to heat it up for one minute. Remove the garlic clove from your cream and then add your mixture. If you like your potatoes to be smoother, feel free to mash it until you get the right consistency. For this particular dish, I like to feel the potato chunks in every bite. It's so good. In an oven safe tray, I'm going to coat it with olive oil and place my potato bolts. And then go ahead and stuff your potatoes with one tablespoon of potato mixture. 
Sprinkle some cheese and then add your cooked bacon strip and top it with a raw egg. I was so generous with the mixture that my egg overflowed. No big deal. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees and bake potatoes until egg whites just set and yolks are still runny for about 15 to 20 minutes. Take me away. I want you While our potato bowls are cooking, lightly grease your skillet with butter and add about a quarter cup of butter. Use an ice cream scoop, that way all the pancakes are the same size. I'm gonna tap it up with fresh blueberries. You can make it with fruits of your preference or chocolate chip, so be creative. Make me smile, what is it that you do? So you wanna give it about three minutes on each side. Check for those bubbles to appear on the top. And definitely check that it's in low heat because they can burn really fast. When you flip it over, your blueberries cook as well, making your pancakes an explosion of flavors. Next, we're gonna make a yogurt parfait, which is so refreshing in summer. You want to add your favorite fruit preserve on the bottom, followed by your yogurt of preference. We're gonna do one layer of granola and we're gonna tap it off with fresh berries. The presentation is beautiful, it's so delicious and refreshing, and you can do it overnight. For our potato bowls, it passed way over 20 minutes because we don't like our eggs to be to be runny. So definitely do that if you like your eggs hard. And now I'm gonna sprinkle more cheese and add some green onions. Pop it again for about two minutes until that cheese melts and they're ready to go. At this point, you're almost done. So I'm gonna start brewing my coffee so it could be nice and hot when I'm ready to serve and then move on to our second drink, strawberry mimosas. I have four ounces of fresh squeezed orange juice, about one and a half orange. I am going to strain it and add fresh strawberries and put it in a blender. Now that your juice is ready, add six ounces of your favorite champagne or Prosecco to a champagne flute and splash a little bit of that juice. Garnish with a slice of strawberry and it's the perfect fruity sparkling drink to start your Sunday. And now we're going to assemble our breakfast tray. To make it easier, assemble your tray, prepare your pancake batter, your yogurt parfait, and the coffee the night before. That way you don't have to wake up so early. Just make sure to heat up that milk for the perfect cup of coffee. When assembling a breakfast tray, I think you should include fresh flowers because it's all in the details, you guys. I'm including this rich purple hydrangea that goes so well with my dinnerware. Let's add our delicious pancakes, add a little bit of butter, Tap it off with some fresh blueberries and drizzle some maple syrup. Let's take our yogurt parfait out of the fridge and add a mini spoon. If you would like to see more recipes like this, please let me know in the comments. And I'm just gonna add some pansies from my window boxes to make it more colorful. And this is it, you guys. Your delicious and impressive breakfast tray is ready for that special person. 
I hope you got inspired to recreate this delicious recipe to show some love and appreciation to that special person. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.